Hey, how's it going everyone? It's Ben Falcons Media Corner back again with a brand new video for today. Welcome back to another move review, aka after a saw review video for today. This and for this um aka after a saw review video for today, this is gonna be my review on a film that was released last year in 2021. Which I did see this one in cinemas uh last year. Well, I have a funny story about this film, but um but um I decided to give you guys my personal views on this movie since a few a few, of my YouTube, a few of my subscribers have reviewed this movie, so today's review is going to be my review on the 2021 psychological horror movie, and that movie is The Night House. Now, The Night House, this was directed by David Bruckner, and stars Rebecca Hall as this uh, widowed uh, woman named uh, Beth, who has just recently lost a husband who has just committed suicide. And after he killed himself, um, she starts to basically try and sell, try to basically try and have a, trying to basically move on from the tragedy she just faced but she starts to start she basically starts to uncover some dark secrets that has something to do with her late husband before he took his own life which he did some things behind her back and um also it also has something to do with uh, the house he built which is built near, near lakeside um and so um for beth she starts to uncover the secrets about the whole house as well as um her husband before he took his own life and so and from here on there we have a psychological horror film so that's pretty much the story of the night house now for this um horror film that we did get last year obviously i was going to check this one out because as you guys may know i do love horror films uh but um i just didn't even know where i was going to go and see this movie because well, there was a few showings in my area, but most of the showings they were playing in my area were kind of were just mostly late showings, and I don't really go to late showings that often. But here's a funny story about for me seeing this movie is that when the pandemic happened, um, I was about to get my uh, get a position of working at View Cinema because I was starting to do a work experience. I was doing really well until, um, and like like I said, I was gonna go and get I was gonna get a place to work there until this whole situation happened, and then you know a few things had to close down. I didn't. I try to get back into society because I try to get back to society during this whole situation, but it was really scaring me and all that. But I, I've managed to overcome it and all that. I'm still and I'm still doing my best of it and all that. Um, and then the, yeah, later um, they my view cinema where I did work from experience. They offered me to get my job back, and I was and I was and so my parents helped me get my job back, and I did get my job back, which I was really happy because I did miss that place where I was working at. And I did miss a few people who I knew, who I was who I liked working with. And when I went back there to basically learn more about like what my what my job was doing during this whole situation, um, they did show me around a few things, and I was having a few meetings. And then after when once all that finished, they did off me to watch uh, a free movie at their place. And I was like, sure, I like to watch something there. So they did show me what they were showing, and most of the sh most of the things they were showing were the movies I've already saw. But um, there was one I didn't I didn't see, which was this movie, and I was like, I really want to check this one out because I do like horror films, and so they did let me watch this film for free. I, I had a whole screening to myself. Obviously, there was no one there; cause it was not even open the view cinema, and so I did watch this on my own. And after I watched this movie uh, to to myself, I definitely had to go with the critics on this one because when this was released, critics were really liking this movie, but for the general public, you know, the audiences, they didn't kind of appreciate this film, but. To me, and for for me personally, I'm gonna have to go with the critics on this one because I had a great time with the Night House. There's a lot of things to really enjoy in the Night House, like Rebecca Hall's performance. I thought she was really great in this movie. She definitely gave her another great performance for her acting career. And of course, this film focuses a whole focuses a lot on her since this movie is entirely about her character and what she goes through and all that. Well, she does interact with a few other characters in the film, like a few secondary characters, but there isn't a whole lot of them. But for the actors who portrayed those characters, I thought they gave solid performances in this movie and. Um, the direction by David Bruckner I thought was really well directed for the whole location shooting the film for for when we do see the house and all that where it's on the lakeside area. I thought th those scenes were really well directed where it's in broad daylight or nighttime. I thought those scenes were really well directed and and for him directing the whole horror aspect in the film I thought was really well done. And speaking of horror aspects, there's the whole horror aspect in this film I thought was really well done as well. Um, there's a few jump scares but not a whole lot of them. Um, there's like I'll say well there's probably like one or two um heavy jump scares in this movie which for those jump scares I thought were very well done and there's luckily there's they're, they're definitely not like false jump scares in that I've seen before in like not so good horror films when I saw that they did really get me for a few, they they did really get me when the when they just popped out of the screen 
it it really it really did because I was because for those scenes I was just mostly on the edge of my seat while watching the whole whole aspect of the film as well as when the film get got to its final act, and the film does have like a bit of psychologicalness psychological stuff in this movie which I thought those those moments like that were very well were very well done as well, and the whole concept for the film uh, it does have a few it does have a few um I could definitely say they kind of like borrowed a few elements from other films like say 2020 is the invisible man because this film is mostly like a haunted house ghost film in a way where it's about a woman who encounters like a ghost in her house and all that and thinking it could be her husband who just you know killed himself and all that i thought the the concept was pretty creative even though again it does have a few similarities to some of the movies that's been like this and the issues I do have with this movie is it's pacing. It's kind of a slow burn film, even though it's not a very long movie. It's not two and a half hours. It's not two hours or anything. This movie's only now in 47 minutes with credits. I Like, the first 20 or 30 minutes of this movie does get a bit slow to me, but it did get really slow to me, but it does manage to pick itself up to get to get something really important in this film. And while the ending, well, the ending is not of an issue. I did really like the ending. It, well, the end for the way the film ended, um, it was really, it was really a big surprise for me because I didn't even uh, expect for the way the film end like that. And, but it's just the way it drew, to, it drew to a close. That was another issue I did have because I'm kind of divisive on that situation with this movie, with that, with that issue I had with this movie. I just didn't even know, did I like it or did I like it? Did I not? Or did I not like the way it drew to a close? That was another. That was because it was kind of like it was kind of in my head really but in the end guys the night house i thought this was a great like ghost haunted house ghost film it's definitely one of the most better ones i've seen because usually because nowadays for some horror films like that try to be like that they do not they don't end up being that really that good but if you're a fan of these kind of films or you're a fan of like rebecca hall as an actress i can definitely say you'll have a great time with this one if you missed a chance to see this in cinemas it is available to stream on disney plus so that's pretty much all to say about the night house i'm gonna give the night house four out of five Pretty great score, despite the flaws I did have with this horror flick, like I still managed to have a great time in this one. And again, if you're a fan of like these kind of like haunted house ghost films or anything like that, I can definitely say you'll have a great time in this one, just like I did. So yeah, and again, if you missed to see this in cinemas, it is available to stream on Disney Plus. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching my AK After I saw review on The Night House. And let me know what you think of this movie. If you have seen this already, if you've just recently seen this film, did you have a blast with this or was this not really a cup of tea? So thank you again, thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for more reviews. And as always, this has been Falcons Media Corner signing off.